let's use that as a bridge to talking about using radiation to enhance tissue. And this is for joint arthritis. Arthritis, tendonitis, bursitis, plantar fasciitis is a really big one now that we're doing a bunch of. I've done probably close to 70 cases across the board just this last year. You usually see, depending on the joint, somewhere between a 60 and 80 percent uh, success rate where the the pain is, if not zero, at least markedly decreased. And then after 12 weeks, the German protocol allows for a retreatment. And then at that point, you get up to 90 plus percent success in terms of reducing pain. So of the patients that are coming to see you with plantar fasciitis, mm -hmm. how many of these patients, how long have they been hurting, first of all? Many times for years. And in fact, my biggest cohort recently, a couple of surgeons that were having trouble standing and operating. They literally couldn't, uh, you know, couldn't perform their normal duties. Uh, six treatments to the, to the fascia and they're walking like nothing ever happened. How long after the last treatment did it take for them to experience? In the case of plantar fasciitis, it was almost immediate, like within, within a week. I've seen obviously patients with debilitating keloids. Mm -hmm. What does it look like after the treatment? So the, the treatment has to be adjuvant after a surgical resection. If you just radiate an intact keloid, it's not going anywhere. Okay. Ultimately, the cosmetic outcome is as good as if they didn't have radiation. That You'll see the scar wherever it is. We get sometimes kids that have had acne scars all over their chest that have these bumps everywhere and they were all resected flat and you radiate them, they just stay flat. You don't see any sort of dermatitis from radiation. I think what's amazing to me is I I just think there's too many people that don't know this, right? I think there's too many people that are walking around sort of suffering right. either from something that's cosmetically upsetting, like a huge keloid, uh, especially on a visible part of their body. Right. Uh, obviously, the people, everybody listening can relate to some nagging injury, tennis elbow, golfer's elbow, mm -hmm. Achilles tendinopathy, hamstring tendinopathy. Uh, these things nag for years at times. Yeah, I think they, the the data was showing some like one in seven people in the country are afflicted and the the uh, socioeconomic costs are massive. And there's also, you know, going to your whole uh, uh, quality of life and longevity bias. I mean, we're talking about something that can really affect someone's ability to exercise at all, and it can lead to exacerbation of other medical problems. So it's a huge problem. And do we, do we have a sense of the durability of this? I think months are very reasonable and probably years for most people. What are some other examples of where this could be used 